So I wasn't planning on making a video today, but as I was leaving work, I was on Facebook and I saw this ridiculous thing. I just thought I had to make a video about it because, because the opportunity was there. It sounds good in my head, so it's bound to be a good idea, I guess? Alright, let me give you all the info about this. So there's these pair of jeans on Nordstrom.com. $425 jeans. But when you look at them, you're like, okay, $425 jeans. That sounds... You know, like high fashion. You would expect them to be really nice, you know? But you go on the website, you look at them. They're a pair of blue jeans covered in fake mud. Last time I checked, people usually don't like their jeans to be dirty. People pay to have clean clothes so they don't look like they're dirty. So maybe it's something about high fashion, but I just don't understand it. But I'm going to show you how you can make your own pair of jeans like that for free or for 10 to $50, depending on how much the jeans that you're using cost. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so you got your blue jeans. Now, all you gotta do is have a perfectly rainy day outside like it is today and go out there and mess them up. I'm gonna cover the camera with some plastic and stuff so that it doesn't get all messed up in the rain. After that, we're gonna go out and screw these jeans up. They're gonna be worth over $400 when we're done with them. Trust me, I'm a designer. All right, so the next step to creating your designer jeans is to find a extremely muddy place such as this one, it's a construction site, and you just gotta go ham. I apologize for the water on the screen in advance. We're gonna run around in the mud, slide around in the mud, and get dirty. So far, I've gotten the pants pretty dirty. I mean, pretty clean. The mud is nice and caked on. I even ripped them a little bit. That adds definitely like 10 fashion points. Nordstrom, if you're watching this, sponsor me. The obvious final step to achieve your designer jeans look is to let them dry. Hang them up and let them dry. I'm tracing mud all over the house, so I'm gonna get these off and hop in the shower because I feel disgusting. Once you have your jeans dry, you're ready to hit the runway or the sidewalk or wherever you're going in these dirty things. They went from worth nothing to being worth over $400. Ugh. Rugged quality American legwear. <sighs> Alright, 
So now that you're done with your designer jeans, you can enjoy them. So on their website, Nordstrom says, heavily distressed medium blue denim jeans that are supposed to resemble Americana workwear to show that you're not afraid to get down and dirty. <laughs> to, to be honest, Nordstrom, if you have to buy jeans to show that you're not afraid to get down and dirty, then that's a little strange. I think the people that are not afraid to get down and dirty don't want to buy jeans that are pre-dirty. I mean, more of the story is fashion is strange. I'm never going to understand it. If you want to buy mud cover jeans for $425, more power to you. I'm going to end the vlog right here. I hope my designer jeans DIY was useful. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe because... Who doesn't want subscribers? I mean, I don't really have any other reason than that. Go f*** yourself. <laughs>